65-year-old lady who has left arm lymphedema secondary to breast cancer treatment uh, and removal of the lymphoids in her armpit. Now she developed lymphedema pretty soon after her surgery and it's progressively got worse. Um, she's had this lymphedema for more than 10 years and her arm has become enlarged, it's very fibrotic and she's finding it very difficult to manage because it's very heavy. She's finding it very difficult to put the compression garment on. Now with lymphedema, initially the swelling of the limb is due to fluid, but over time that lymphatic fluid has a stimulatory effect on the fat and it causes the fat compartment to expand. So the swollen limb is actually not fluid, it's fat. And you can tell the difference by seeing if the patient's got pitting edema. Now I've infiltrated the arm so it's difficult to demonstrate, but in her, when you press into the arm, there's no dent which tells me that there's no fluid component responsible for the enlargement of the arm. Now, one of the treatments that I offer for this is liposuction. Now, it's important to understand that liposuction doesn't cure the lymphedema. It's purely a palliative operation. In other words, the purpose is to reduce the size of the limb, make it easier to manage, make it easier for her to wear her compression garment and improve her quality of life. What's really important is that after the surgery, she wears the compression garment on her, on her upper limb continuously, 24 hours a day. If she's not compliant and takes it off for prolonged periods, then the arm can start to swell again and the, and the fat can reoccur. So what I'm gonna to do today is do circumferential liposuction of the entire upper limb, and that'll reduce the size. And you'll join me again once I've done some of the liposuction to see what it looks like. from wrist up to the armpit and have gone circumferentially all the way around. You can see it's just essentially skin. The little stab incisions are left to heal by themselves. I don't tend to stitch those up. And we'll put now put the compression sleeve on and leave her to heal, otherwise it's gone very well. A total of 1.3 litres was removed from the arm, which is a good volume of fat to remove. And you can see it looks smaller already, and once the skin starts to shrink down, she'll have a normal sized arm. So it's now been three months uh, since your left arm lymphedema liposuction, and how do you feel? Great. And how does the arm feel? The arm is... Uh, you don't notice the, dif the difference. The difference is you're not carrying that weight around with you. There is no discomfort with it. Um, you balance properly. Your clothes fit you. You're not having to realign all the necklines because it's dragging. And you're still wearing the lymphedema compression sleeve. Yes. Uh, you can see it's worked really well because you can start to get wrinkles on your yes. arm here. Um, have you found it quite painful to wear that? No. Okay. Is it become a lot looser now? It's much looser. I'm on a, a smaller, the smallest size now. Right. Uh, the lymphedema nurse says it is now down to 8% different. And the top of my arm is no different from the top of the other arm. Okay, so there's only an 8% difference in terms of volume yeah. between the right and left arm. Yeah. What was it before the surgery? Do you know? It was nearly 50%. 50% difference? Yeah. So we've gone down from 50 to 8%. Yeah. Okay, lovely. What about shoulder movement? How does that feel? I, I can do that now. Wow, great. Which I could never do. With, I could always do it before the lymphedema. Um, I can't, I couldn't when my arm was bad. Lovely. So do you think it's had a positive impact on your life? Positive! <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. So the, the standing incisions have healed really nicely, mm -hmm. and they, which is really they, good. They healed within a couple of weeks. Okay, so that's worked out really well. You've got, have you got any numbness anywhere? It was... Yes, numb in various places, but the tingling has disappeared, so it's coming back. Uh, my hand did swell up, and it was really bad. Right. Um, but and my fingers before the surgery were swollen up, but this ring I've not had on for Brilliant. a good five years, and I can now get it on. 
Right, fabulous. So you can see that this lady's had a fantastic result from her lymphedema liposuction, but it is now crucial that she carries on wearing her compression sleeve. Although the limb is smaller uh, than before, it doesn't mean that she should stop wearing the compression sleeve. It's very important that she continues wearing it. And if she's compliant in, and does this, then there's no reason why the, the limb will stay the same size for the rest of her life. We know this from um, previous research work, that the limb volume remains the same after the surgery if you continue to wear your compression garment as long as possible, I mean 24 hours a day uh, with it. Um, it's very important that she continues to moisturise the skin. After liposuction, often the skin becomes a bit dry and you've got to maintain the moisture to it. But this is a temporary phenomenon and it will improve over time. But otherwise, she's got an absolutely fabulous result.